Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, three, our battle Los Angeles. Check, check, one, two, one, two, three, microphones on. <laughs> Mixers on, <laughs> microphones on. Gina, Gina, Gina. And tonight we have painting Fang, Juju, Michelle Doe, Sab, Lando, Gino, C.S. Murphy, and a wild card. All right. Very exciting. Can't wait to see that wild card. Ooh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good painters in attendance tonight that are hoping to snag that spot. Yeah, it usually is in Los Angeles. We have a huge artistic community in the city. And uh, and a lot of painters come out to check out the action when they're not painting. So we could see a real all-star step up into that wild card spot. Ooh, you never know what's going to happen. You never know. That's part of the beauty of the show. Okay. I'm seeing feed on 4444. Four, four, four. And you're seeing uh, the canvas and the easel cards, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I think that's the only feed that we have for now that I'm aware of. That's the only feed that we have. The other ones are not. The other ones are not on. One, two, and three are not on? That's right. Okay. Okie dokie. All right, well, we're live at 10, or 11. Yeah. So, I'm not sure how soon after that we'll be... Uh, starting, starting. Uh, should be pretty soon after that. Yeah. Should be pretty soon. Okay. Do you want to just stay on then? Or do you have a, uh, do you want a quick bathroom break or whatever before we start? Um, yeah, I'll just stay, I'll just stay on. Some real good stuff there.
Okay, welcome to Art Battle Los Angeles. I'm All right, here we go. So excited. Oh, I can see that Simon is chatting here. Let's get him turned up. Uh, my name is Simon Plaschkas, I'm one of the co-founders of Art Battle, uh, but I will not be your host on stage tonight. Your host, please give a warm welcome to Gage Maverick! Crystal Millay! How are you guys? I'm so happy to be here. What a beautiful venue. First, keep it going for Wisdom. What a beautiful venue, yeah? Your DJ, DJ Spill, kicking up some tunes for you guys. As he said, my name is Gage Maverick. That's an OC and Maverick. Keep you Googling. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Wisdom LA. And welcome, of course, to Art Battle. <laughs> Show of hands. Who's, who's the first time I've ever been to Art Battle? Show of hands or make some noise. Look at that. First time, brother. You are now zombified. You are cultified. We are going to bring you into the cult that is Art Battle, ladies and gentlemen. We are so happy that you're here. You're going to want to keep coming and coming and coming and coming. It's going to be fantastic. All right, what is Art Battle? Art Battle is two rounds of competition with eight artists in the center right there. You guys have the ultimate vote of who moves on in the competition, guys. To the third round tonight, we're going to take four competitors from each round and move them on tonight. We're going to introduce the artists momentarily. You guys are going to judge. You guys are going to vote. At the end of the night, when all these beautiful artworks have been created, Right in front of your face, you have the opportunity to bid, auction, and take home these beautiful pieces of art. How does that sound to you guys? All right, so let's get started with round one. Each of these artists will have 20 minutes to create art right in front of your face. As you see, all of their palettes are blank, except for one. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And uh, they're all blank, and they're going to create art right in front of me. They get 20 minutes to do so. And let's meet the artists. You guys ready? All right, and at easel number one, shining at easel number one, her vibrant palettes bring a lively energy to abstract and realistic styles. Please welcome Kay Augustine. <laughs> at easel number two, this Colombian artist specializes in stunningly detailed drawings, paintings, and intimate photography. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Danny Delgado. Number three, loaded in easel three, his graffiti-esque paintings are inspired by music, Andy Warhol and storytelling. Let's make some noise for Pluto! <laughs> At easel number four, this Russian beauty, she's a Jewish immigrant, affectionately referred to her work as queer expressionism. It's colorful, her name, Captain Shukovsky. And she told me I did pronounce that name correctly, which I'm really proud to say. At easel number five, this brushes, get your brushes ready. He's a master of urban as abstract portraiture. Here's Danny Darren Domingo. And coming in at the last second, filling in, her name is Fang, at easel number six. Her art is all about her feelings. She goes by her gut, and she can't wait to perform for you live right here on the spot. She does have a one-minute penalty, however, because she did touch her canvas. Not to color out, but it's just part of the rules. She has a one-minute penalty, so when you see that she does not start, it's because she put some art on her blank canvas. So she has one minute to stand and chill while the others get started. So she has 19 minutes. Let's make some noise for Fang, everybody! And coming in at easel number six, he's best known for his critters in odd proportions. This competitor's characteristics range from cute and cuddly to viewer beware. At easel number seven, it's C.S. Murphy. And finally, at easel number eight, is a freelance illustrator whose cartoonish surrealism feels warm and happy. Put your hands together for Michael John Vargas! And welcome to the Easel Red Table, guys. This is your competition. This is your domain. This is your spot. Audience, 
Jumpers, feel free to roam around. We're going to counterclockwise motion and walk around watching these guys. Please do not interfere. Please do not get in the way. Please do not heckle or yell at them. But do cheer them, support them, and show them some love. Are you ready? I'm about for round one. All right, let's get it started. We're going to put... what they're painting we see some mysterious brush strokes um it's a great mix This is the first show post pandemic. Uh, prior to the pandemic, we were at Exchange LA, uh, and now we have uh, changed venues to this absolutely beautiful spot in Los Angeles, the Wisdom in the Arts District. And uh, as you can see, the whole ceiling is a projection screen. So they, are, they have full live immersive art shows there. And we can see that tonight one of our cameras is being projected up onto the ceiling. So the audience in attendance is getting a full immersive art battle experience tonight. This is really a wonderful showcase for live art and painting. We're seeing we have quite a good crowd there tonight. A lot of uh, art supporters in Los Angeles. And uh, we are very happy to see them all there joining us tonight. Of course, Art Battle tonight in Los Angeles is being run by Art Battle co-founder Simon Flashkiss. And uh, just a great team. You can see that the uh, couple of team members are sporting some new Art Battle gear, some uh, 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 jacket, and a long sleeve shirt there. We've got some new art out here on the website. Check it out. And uh, speaking of art out of our if you're watching this live stream, you can participate in the event by voting. And all you have to do is go to artbattle.com slash vote. Entering your name and your phone number, you will receive a text with a link. And you can vote in tonight's art battle. 
all the paintings that are good and are also up for silent action. And on the same uh, on the same feature that allows you to vote, you can also check out the silent action. And if you're thinking that you want to take one of these home, but you're not sure how you're going to get it, we will ship paintings to any location. So feel free to add one of these paintings. You can continue your collection, or if you don't have any paintings, now's a great time to start. So vote and bid live from home. It's a great new feature. We're trying to live stream as many of our events as we can, We're trying to bring Art Battle to households across the world. And we are so stoked to be here in Los Angeles tonight. We're going to see 16 painters tonight. So that is a, a totally full deck of painters. Uh, and we are seeing lots of great action at the easel so far. Here is Catherine working on a figure. She is uh, doing it in sort of a patchwork style. She's got the eyes, the forehead, some parts of the body, and she's filling it in. Here we have a really, really well-developed face. Yeah, this I is love just this blue a, portrait. It's incredible. It's already incredible, and we're only a few minutes in. So that is going to be tightened up and brought further into focus and just an amazing piece in progress from Darren. Yeah, Darren, uh, I've been really excited to see him working tonight, uh, just checking out his studio work. It's so vibrant. It's so colorful um, and a lot of angular lines as well. And so I'm definitely seeing that in this portrait. Um, and here we are hanging out with Thang. Here we are with Fang. She has a uh, portrait already drawn with eyes closed, and she's working on the hair, but she's also got a lot of abstract action going on around that. Yeah, uh, her studio work had a lot of faces kind of emerging from abstract backgrounds. So really, uh, I just I love seeing the way that an artist natural uh, work process translates into the art battle arena. Yeah, it's always very interesting to check out an artist's studio work and to see if they try to replicate that in the live 20 minutes or if they go in a different direction. Now, we usually see we usually see artists doing similar uh, themed work to their studio work, but often they have to take uh, a uh, slightly different approach to get it done in 20 minutes. But um, Fang there is definitely pulling out what she's good at, which is the face coming out of the abstract background. Yeah, really gorgeous work there. Um, and here we are with Michael John Vargas, um, known for his illustrative and cartoony style with uh, lots of pop references and clean lines. And looks like we're getting, uh, I think, a burger. Maybe? What do you think? Well, it, it does kind of look like a burger. It looks like a burger on the um, when you order one on the app and it separates the ingredients out as you, you can see them. They're uh, in interesting. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a port. Maybe it's an abstract Cubist portrait of Kanye West, though. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> love it. Love it. Yeah, he's just working on the details. He's working on, if that is a burger, he's working on the pickle. <laughs> my favorite part, my favorite part. Yeah, you got to have a pickle. Okay, and here we are checking in with Kay, um, who was working in the beginning with that roller technique, and now it looks like she's added um, some sort of dancer's figure. Yeah. It can be really difficult working on top of a, a fully wet background. So it is, it is a risk when you cover your canvas 
uh, when you cover 100% of your canvas at the beginning of the round and then to paint on top of that, it, it doesn't always go the way that you want it to. Yeah, and with the uh, the dark as well, working into that kind of challenge of working not only with the wet paint, but also battling with the opacity of white on top of that black paint. That's right. Here we see Danny Delgado is mixing his paint on the floor. He has a double... Uh, sp speaking of Cubist, this might be uh, this might be in the realm there. He's got two faces sharing an eye. I uh, love that. And yeah, really, really nice work so far. He's got great tones in the face. You can really see the bone structure of those uh, one and a half women. Uh, <laughs> one and really, a half women. <laughs> And here's Plutus. We're going to call Plutus the mystery man because he, assuming, yeah, I'm assuming it's a he, but Plutus is completely covered up here. Full mask, full toque, sunglasses, a total, a total mystery. Yeah, I love uh, I love how some artists bring the theater not only with uh, their performance painting, but also with the garb that they choose to don. Yeah, we love we love to see that. We love to see somebody really get into the idea of it being a live show, and that the artist and, that the art and the artist are on display. Um, and then here we are with Catherine and Catherine's work really was so exciting to me. Um, she describes her work as queer expressionism. And when I was checking it out, it's just so vibrant and like all of these incredible, like really strong brushworks and a lot of neons. Um, and we're definitely seeing that here as well. Yeah, we're seeing her use her full palette there. Uh, very interesting the way she's got the hand covering the face. Very interesting. We're here now. We are with um, here. We are with Fang, who is working on the abstract background of her piece. She's got her canvas uh, aligned landscape style, which is unusual for a portrait piece. Yeah, she's kind of letting all of that abstraction take up a lot of the composition and keeping the figure almost only a third of the canvas. Yeah, it's very well centered, but she's got a lot of, uh, lot of action there. And you can see that most of her work right now is focused on this background. Uh, and also, she seems to be obsessed with the hair. <laughs> Aren't we all? Are we all obsessed with our hair? Yeah, sure, a little bit. <laughs> Here we are with C.S. Murphy. Oh, wow, Instead what of, a great gradient. Yeah, that's that's tough to get, and especially to be doing figure work over top of that. He's got some, those, these are, these are two underwater figures. Yeah, with and, the bubbles coming up. He's done such an excellent job on those bubbles. I mean, they are just popping right, three-dimensional popping right off the canvas. Very difficult effect to get in just 20 minutes with acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now we're seeing, uh, now we're seeing this burger uh, really getting a lot of life uh, thrown into it with this spatter technique from Michael. Yeah. Yeah, I th I do think it is a, uh, a a burger being tossed up in the air from Michael John Vargas here. He is uh, also he, he did the, the burger figure first and brought in the background. You see, he's not brought it in completely to touch the edge of the bun. There, he's left a little bit of room. I don't know if that was to leave some glow around the outside of the burger or if he was afraid to get too close yeah well i'm not thinking that it's fear because i'm seeing him being pretty fearless right now with this uh this spattering yeah. technique um and i can see that Kay is kind of looking over her shoulder a little bit i hope 
I hope that she doesn't catch any of the osprey there. I think I can see some paint in her hair. To be <laughs> and here we are back with Danny Delgado um, and this incredible, like, three-eyed double exposure woman. This is a really mature uh, approach and mature painting for the amount of time that we've been going here. Absolutely. Here's Danny in his uh, first battle, really, really biting off a difficult painting. And he has done such an amazing job of uh, flushing out the skin tones and the faces that he's got there. They just look so lifelike. Yeah, absolutely. Just really like beautiful, subtle tones kind of establishing the curves of the face here. And even um, just the whites of the eyes, you're getting a lot of great expression there. Um, and here we are also with Plutus, back with Plutus. Um, and Plutus is, just, he's described himself as being um, pretty Warhol inspired and pop art. Um, and I think we're yeah. definitely getting some of that cheekiness here, not only with the outfit, but I believe that this might be some form of self-portrait. I think I'm seeing him in the figure there. Yeah, I think I noticed that too, actually. He's got a lot more detail within that um, abstract piece than, than I, it looked like at first. If you look at it up close, he's definitely got a figure wearing sunglasses in the center there. A really striking piece. A, such a good variety of work that we're seeing on the easels here in the first round. Absolutely. No two, pie no two pieces are alike. Um, and back with Danny. And Danny has added this beautiful red, um, just outlining his figure in blue, this wonderful um, profile, profile portrait. And you know that I love that contrast. The blue on the red. Yes. You're famous for it, in <laughs> fact. And just getting these really, like, beautiful, crisp lines, um, creating a really great contrast um, in the face. And he's looking really confident as well as he's painting. That's always something that I watch for um within this art sports arena is not only is how's the work coming together but what's the attitude of the artist as they're creating the yeah work? absolutely love to see somebody bopping along with the music at the easel really getting into it of course you know from experience morgan that uh mostly when you're working an art battle the the rest of the audience and that fades away and it just becomes you in the canvas. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like an in, it's an incredible intensity. Like you're aware of what's going on around you, you're aware of the situation that you're in, but once you put the paintbrush to the canvas, it's just you really hone in there. Yeah. Yeah. Then not to say we do see some artists who uh interact with the crowd very um, actively while they're painting. But for the most part, the artists are super focused. Um, they are professionals and they are in there in, even though it is uh, different than painting in the studio, once they're painting, they're definitely in their happy place. Mm -hmm. I'm loving all of these camera angles, uh, just showing the dome and the environment that we're in. Yeah. This is quite really. the arena. It's quite the arena. This is, uh, when we designed Art Battle, we definitely pictured it to be in some place just like this. So uh, tonight is a super special experience as it is uh, completely immersive. We've got Art Battle in front of you, Art Battle over your head, Art Battle behind you. And uh, we've got so, so many great artists just making it so worthwhile. Incredible. Just beyond. Just beyond. So excited that we also get to be there tonight. 
That's right. And everybody, of course, watching in the audience, um, all of these pieces, you can vote on them. You can vote on who of these artists you want to send forward into the third and final round. So to do that, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote, um, and you will get a special voting link to have your say. Here we are back with Danny Delgado, and this is just a a real masterpiece. I know this is his first battle, but he is a pro. So pro, so pro. Yeah. Here we are back with the mystery man, Plutus. <laughs> I just love what Catherine has done with her piece there. The yeah, way that keeping... she has, I keep keeping that hand. This, it's a real statement. Yeah, it's so it's brought such a graphic quality into an otherwise uh, very painterly portrait. Yeah. Okay, and here we are ending the round. Three, is down. All right. Wow. What a treat that was. Absolutely. Some incredible pieces here tonight. Um, I know that I have my eye on quite a few of them, um, especially Catherine's, but just a good reminder for everyone at that link our battle.com slash vote you can also bid on the works and we will send them to you we will ship them so don't be shy you've got amazing art created right in front of you right before your eyes if you take one of these pieces home you'll always have a great story about this piece that you saw it you actually saw it go from zero to hero in 20 minutes such a great point and i'm enjoying this little tour here that we're getting of all of the the finished works yeah those bubbles are really excellent yeah so much such, fun. such amazing such amazing detail they really they really look like they're really there just perfectly captured yeah really beautiful job on the highlight there Okay, and we will be back in just a few minutes. All right. Um, as the audience cast their vote. Okay, please stay with us. We have eight more amazing artists coming up in the second round, and then the best two artists from the first round, as voted by the audience, and the best two artists from the second round will go in the third and final round to see who is crowned Art Battle Champion tonight. The winner of tonight's event will be going through to the LA City Championships in March with a chance to go from there to the National Championships in April. So stick with us. It's only getting better. And we'll be back in just a few minutes.
Okay, and welcome back to Art Battle Los Angeles. We are here for the second round of live competitive painting. These artists will have just 20 minutes to go from blank canvas to incredible finished piece for your votes tonight. We have eight artists up at the easel. My name is Morgan Booth. I'm here co-hosting with Art Battle co-founder Chris Pemberton. Hi, Chris. Hi, Morgan. Hi, everyone. And these artists Sorry. look like they're having a great time. Just getting yeah, ready. Yeah, they certainly do. Everybody's standing at attention at their easel. I can't wait. This is going to be super. Our first round was just spectacular. Eight really different paintings and uh, really great, highly talented work. We have our MC introducing our painters for our second round, and we are sure to see some heavy hitters in this round. Yeah, the quality of the work so far tonight has been absolutely beyond. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Okay, and I believe that they are doing the countdown now. Okay, artists getting ready. What an incredible atmosphere tonight. 
yeah, this place is just an absolute art stadium. Wisdom LA, super top-notch venue. We are very happy to be hosting our Battle Los Angeles here tonight. Yeah, just absolutely incredible. angle what he is doing but uh uh working hard there we have eight awesome artists here in this round 16 artists in total tonight four of which will win by audience vote win their rounds and go through to the third and final round where they will paint for the championship Ooh, gonna be such a tough call it's gonna be so tough and there in frame is an art battle friend. We have Uncle Craig there taking pictures. <laughs> art battle's truest friend. Love it. Art battle's truest friend, Uncle Craig. He's been to art battle in many different cities, and there he is tonight with his trusty camera taking some pictures. And here is uh, another Art Battle true friend, Simon Plashkis, picking up the camera. Picking up the camera so we can see what's going on here. We see some uh, 
some live, some figure drawing from Nathan Aardvark, sort of uh, live session style. I adore yeah. this. I yeah. love this. Uh, getting some kind of like really interesting contour drawing going on. Looks like almost a double double exposure of like a gesture. Yeah. And here's Juju working on his piece. Looks very similar to his final round piece last night. Looks very similar. So he's sort of, he's mixed it up tonight and he's doing his final round piece first. He's got a bunch of bars of color and he is animating them with eyes and lips. Oh, look at this. Just beautiful. Like this must be a sky. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. It's, it's a perspective piece of almost a fisheye lens of the ocean and the sky. But what an absolutely gorgeous range of colors that she's got going on in the sky there. Yeah, and looks like she was using a sponge application. Oh, that's how she got that effect. Very cool. And here we're back with Sab painting a, a torso of a woman. I'm really enjoying these kind of uh, almost neon tones that are introduced here. Yeah. And that's very, yeah, very indicative interesting. of her palette. Very interesting. And here we are with Lando, um, and Lando's work is usually inspired by uh, Mexican culture and traditions. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where they go tonight and which uh, influence arrives at the top. And here we have Gino, our wild card, working with a really interesting um, paint marker. Oh, I wonder if he, he borrowed that off an artist, maybe. I don't know if they had paint markers in the kit, but uh, interesting as a wild card to do full coverage on the canvas with the purple. That is uh, unusual to see a wild card take that approach to have mm -hmm. such a, a to have such a solid idea of what they're going to do. Yeah. Oh wow, this is a cool technique using um, the brush as an easel or sorry as a ruler or is that actually a ruler i think that is a ruler no time for tape no problem oh wow loving these sharp lines yeah very, very cool great brush control there And here we are with Augie Ray. Um, and it looks like he's lifted the pieces of tape that he had originally put down um, in those first few minutes. Yeah, we have uh, some negative space left by the tape and he's working on the other space. Now we're back with Nathan Aardvark who is working on um, a life a, what you call life life drawing um and almost looks as if there are three figures kind of melting into each other here that's right there's only one figure on his reference he's using a reference here and he's got just one figure but he is replicating that figure across the center of the canvas interesting approach by juju to paint is what he painted last night as a final round piece to paint similar style here. I would have thought that he would have gone with the style that he won with last night. Yeah, with that signature uh, character that interestingly yeah. enough, you can also see um, painted on his pants. <laughs> is it on his pants? It yeah. is, it is. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And Michelle is doing, uh, just feathering in more of these colors into this kind of skyscape. Just reminds me of uh, 
flying and landing during sunset. It's one of my absolute favorite things. Yeah. A really beautiful piece coming across there. And uh, we have Sab working on the uh, outlines of her figure here. She's introduced some, some a little bit of color, uh, but just working there on her figure. We'll it's interesting to see what she's able to get out of that in this time frame. Mm -hmm. And wow, this incredible heart um, from Lando here with uh, swords coming from the top of it and this kind of undulating gold uh, streaming outward. Yeah, very interesting piece. Oh, here we have our wild card Gino who is, is he using a, yeah, he's using a paint marker, a very thick paint marker and uh, outlining. He's got some, f some flaming cubes there. So cool. I love uh, the vibrancy of that kind of fuchsia is really popping off there. Yeah. Um, and Gino is also well known for creating pretty playful um, work. And you can see that his work is also on his own garb. So he's drawn on uh, or painted on his T-shirt as well with his own artwork. Oh, very cool. And I believe this is Mayan mask. Um, and wow, what a cool mask uh, this person is wearing once we uh, pan around to it. It's a yeah. metal cutout. He's wearing a mask. He's painting a mask. His name is Mask. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder if he's trying to tell us something. <laughs> okay, and looks like we're starting to get um, a face from Augie Ray. Um, leaning a little bit into kind of tribalist sculpture, it looks like. Mm hmm That looks to me almost like a Mexican wrestling mask. Like a luchador mask? Yeah. Cool. Oh, and we're getting... Um, I didn't expect that we were going to be getting an illustrative moment on top of this uh sky but here we are with michelle and looks like she's adding um the silhouette of something on top of this color field here yeah you know that's a risky move that's a risky move she has such a um absolutely gorgeous amount of uh color on this piece and so she must be very confident in her silhouette to interrupt that right now it'd be interesting to see what that silhouette is yeah um and how it fits into the theme that she's got going on um, that's right but also in michelle's studio work um her pieces often end up looking almost like collage um so she doesn't necessarily try to integrate things into the environment um, in a in a subtle way, they're meant to almost look layered on top of each other. So I think that's what we're seeing here. Um, we've got Burn of Money with Gino. Oh yeah, he's done a uh, interesting job of uh, the president there. <laughs> yeah, just a little, just a miserable little stick figure. <laughs> um, on the money there. I like the uh, the attitude is pretty cool. Definitely a, um, a fun execution of a statement piece. Like definitely yeah. political content there, but done in a very uh, like whimsical childlike way. We've never seen a painting of burning money before. That's the very first one. <laughs> is that? Okay, and now we're here with our possible luchador. Uh, yeah. Getting the impression of a neck coming down, so I think that he's going to be um, extending the portrait. Two, 
Okay, here we have very careful work from uh, from Nathan. Uh, he's holding his brush in a very interesting way. It almost looked like he was working with charcoal there. I'm not sure. Mm hmm And here we are with Juju. Um, and these faces uh, kind of crawling up these buildings is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Some of them look like, I don't know if they're supposed to be uh, angels or insects or what they're, what they are. And we're seeing um, Sub just refining her figure here. Um, some really beautiful, um, curvaceous lines here. Yeah. Yeah, very curvy. Oh, look at Michelle's piece. It is somebody falling. Very cool. It is somebody falling through the air with an, what looks like an umbrella open. Very cool. I'm excited to, for us to um, wheel around and come back to that. With, uh, with only five minutes remaining, we're really in um, the refinement stage here. And we can see uh, Gino drying his piece. I wonder if that is to prevent any dripping or if he needs it to dry to add more. Yeah. Or if it's I, just a bit of showmanship. Interesting. I like, I like to see that. There he is. He's rocking with the beat. Yeah, so good. <laughs> just such a great attitude yeah for sure okay and it looks like Augie is starting to um, kind of carve into this heavy paint application that he's got going on and it's interesting seeing the juxtaposition between Augie's super heavy application and Nathan's very sparing uh, drawing, basically. Yeah, it's the contrast is very interesting. Uh, we see so many different approaches at Art Battle. There's so many different ways to uh, to to do a piece of art in, in 20 minutes, and uh, seeing them right next to each other. Way back when we uh, first uh, started working in this um, sort of format here, we had a curtain between the artists so that they couldn't see each other because we thought maybe they would influence each other when they're painting. But we soon learned that artists are in their own world and uh, are only focused on their own painting. Uh, so now we've got them all close together and uh, it doesn't really matter if they can see the work that's going on next to them. A lot of color here in uh, Juju's piece. Quite quite striking, actually. Yeah, lots of color. And I actually, um, I'm always wanting artists to fill in uh, the negative space left by any parts of blank canvas. But I think that Juju's actually lends a lot to it. Um, and Michelle. So I think that both of us were a little bit upset by the introduction of the figure. But I have to take it back now because this is really interesting. Yeah. This is very interesting. We have somebody falling or flying away with an umbrella. We got these very, very well executed birds disappearing into the sky. Yeah. Uh, just a, a really striking piece from Michelle. Yeah, just an absolutely gorgeous job there. And two minutes remaining only for these artists. So for anyone out there in the internets, um, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote um, and vote for your favorite of these amazing artists. Two of them will make it on to the third and final round and join the top two from the first round where they will compete again um, with a blank canvas and another 20 minutes and the winner of the evening will be championed. Fantastic. Yeah, get your votes in here. Your votes count. We want to make sure that um, we count every single one of you when we are trying to figure out who's done the best job here. So 
the audience at the event has got a vote. You have a vote online uh, and also equal opportunity to, to participate in the auction and take home one of these beautiful pieces. Yeah, incredible to be able to basically be anywhere in the world, see these paintings being created live, and then knowing that it is possible for you to own one. Yeah, absolutely. Something that comes with uh, an incredible story of being seeing it created under the pressure of the art battle situation. And once you own one, <laughs> you'll, you'll want, once you own one, you'll find yourself with two and three. <laughs> we, uh, we both seem to have that problem, don't we, Chris? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Both of our houses are absolutely chock-a-block with, uh, with art battle paintings. It becomes addictive collecting art battle paintings, for mm -hmm. sure. But uh, we welcome you. It's a healthy addiction. So uh, get in there on the auction and take home one of these pieces or bid bid from your home. We'll sh we will ship it to you. If you're watching online, you're not at the event. So we will be happily ship this piece to you. And looks like they're winding down their final few seconds here. Oh, look at this beautiful pan up to... Uh... Just the incredible venue. I really like that piece by Juju. So much vibrancy. Yeah, me too. Okay, and looks like they are... I think that's it. Finish this round, and we will be right back. Um, while our team counts the votes and while uh, all of these artists get ready and get excited about the possibility of having won your vote. So go on over and make sure that you vote. Okay, great. And stick around. We're going to have the third and final round, the most important one, coming up soon. Does the first oil paintings on canvases, and he describes uh, as a different detail by painting practical rooted in, uh, in nature and culture as the original, beautiful and powerful. And one of his one of his favorites is.
of applause for Ray Good Luck. Yes, yes, yes. He is a self taught Okay, and welcome back to Art Battle Los Angeles. We are here for the second round of live competitive painting. These artists will have just 20 minutes to go from blank canvas to incredible finished piece for your votes tonight. We have eight artists up at the easel. My name is Morgan Booth. I'm here co-hosting with Art Battle co-founder Chris Pemberton. Hi, Chris. Hi, Morgan. Hi, everyone. And these Good artists sign. look like they're having a great time. Just getting yeah, ready. Yeah, they certainly do. Everybody's standing at attention at their easel. I can't wait. This is going to be super. Our first round was just spectacular. Eight really different paintings and uh, really great, highly talented work. We have our MC introducing our painters for our second round, and we are sure to see some heavy hitters in this round. Yeah, the quality of the work so far tonight has been absolutely beyond. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Okay, and I believe that they are doing the countdown now. Okay, artists getting ready. What an incredible atmosphere tonight. Yeah, this place is just an absolute art stadium. Wisdom LA, super top-notch venue. We are very happy to be hosting our Battle Los Angeles here tonight. Yeah, just absolutely incredible.
and go what he is doing, but uh, uh, working hard there. We have eight awesome artists here in this round, 16 artists in total tonight, four of which will win by audience vote, win their rounds, and go through to the third and final round where they will paint for the championship. Ooh, going to be such a tough call. It's going to be so tough. And there in frame is an art battle friend. We have Uncle Craig there taking pictures. <laughs> art battle's truest friend. Love it. Art battle's truest friend, Uncle Craig. He's been to art battle in many different cities. And there he is tonight with his trusty camera taking some pictures. And here is uh, another Art Battle True Friend, Simon Plashkis, picking up the camera. Picking up the camera so we can see what's going on here. We see some uh, some live, some figure drawing from Nathan Aardvark, sort of uh, live session style. I adore yeah. this. I yeah. love this. Uh, getting some kind of like really interesting contour drawing going on. Looks like almost a double double exposure of like a gesture. Yeah. And here's Juju working on his piece. Looks very similar to his final round piece last night. Looks very similar. So he's sort of, he's mixed it up tonight and he's doing his final round piece first. He's got uh, a bunch of bars of color and he is animating them with eyes and lips. Oh, look at this. Just beautiful. Like, this must be a sky. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah. It's, it's a perspective piece of almost a fisheye lens of the ocean and the sky. But what an absolutely gorgeous range of colors that she's got going on in the sky there. Yeah, and looks like she was using a sponge application. Oh, that's how she got that effect. Very cool. And here we're back with Sab painting a, a torso of a woman. I'm really enjoying these kind of uh, almost neon tones that are introduced here. Yeah. And that's very, yeah, very indicative interesting. of her palette. Very interesting. And here we are with Lando, um, and Lando's work is usually inspired by uh, Mexican culture and traditions. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where they go tonight and which uh, influence arrives at the top. And here we have Gino, our wildcard, working with a really interesting um, paint marker. Oh, I wonder if he borrowed that off an artist, maybe. I don't know if they had paint markers in the kit, but uh, interesting as a wild card to do full coverage on the canvas with the purple. That is uh, unusual to see a wild card take that approach to have such a, a to have such a solid idea of what they're going to do. Yeah. Oh wow, this is a cool technique using um, the brush as an easel or sorry as a ruler or is that actually a ruler i think that is a ruler no time for tape no problem oh wow loving these sharp lines yeah very, very cool great brush control there And here we are with Augie Ray. Um, and it looks like he's lifted the pieces of tape that he had originally put down um, in those first few minutes. Yeah, we have uh, some negative space left by the tape and he's working on the other space. Now we're back with Nathan Aardvark who is working on um, a 
a life, a, what you call life, life drawing. Um, and almost looks as if there are three figures kind of melting into each other here. That's right. There's only one figure on his reference. He's using a reference here. And he's got just one figure, but he is replicating that figure across the center of the canvas. Interesting approach by Juju to paint his what he painted last night as a final round piece to paint similar style here. I would have thought that he would have gone with the style that he won with last night. Yeah, with that signature uh, character is that interestingly yeah. enough, you can also see um, painted on his pants. <laughs> is it on his pants? It yeah. is, it is. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And Michelle is doing, uh, just feathering in more of these colors into this kind of skyscape. Just reminds me of... Uh, flying and landing during the sunset. It's one of my absolute favorite things. Yeah. A really beautiful piece coming across there. And uh, we have Sab working on the uh, outlines of her figure here. She's introduced some, some a little bit of color. Uh, but just working there on her figure. Well, it's interesting to see what she's able to get out of that in this time frame. Mm -hmm. And wow, this incredible heart um, from Lando here with uh, swords coming from the top of it and this kind of undulating gold uh, streaming outward. Yeah, very interesting piece. Oh, here we have our wild card Gino. Who is is he using a yeah he's using a paint marker a very thick paint marker and uh, outlining he's got some some flaming cubes there so cool I love uh, the vibrancy of that kind of fuchsia is really popping off there yeah um, and Gino is also well known for creating pretty playful um work and you can see that his work is also on his own garb so he's drawn on uh or painted on his t-shirt as well with his own artwork oh very cool and i believe this is mayan mask um and wow what a cool mask uh this person is wearing once we uh pan around to it it's a yeah. metal cutout He's wearing a mask. He's painting a mask. His name is Mask. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder if he's trying to tell us something. <laughs> okay, and looks like we're starting to get um, a face from Augie Ray. Um, leaning a little bit into kind of tribalist sculpture, it looks like. Mm -hmm. That looks to me almost like a Mexican wrestling mask. Like a luchador mask? Yeah. Cool. Oh, and we're getting... Um, I didn't expect that we were going to be getting an illustrative moment on top of this uh, sky. But here we are with Michelle, and looks like she's adding um, the silhouette of something on top of this color field. Um, That's right. But also, in Michelle's studio work... Um, her pieces often end up looking almost like collage, um, so she doesn't necessarily try to integrate things into the environment um, in, a, in a subtle way. They're meant to almost look layered on top of each other, so I think that's what we're seeing here. Um, we've got Burn Money with Gino. Oh, yeah. He's done a... Uh interesting job of uh, the president there <laughs> yeah just a little just a miserable little stick figure um, <laughs> on the money there i like the uh, the attitude is pretty cool definitely a, um a fun execution of a statement piece like definitely yeah. political content there but done in a very uh like whimsical childlike way 
We've never seen a painting of burning money before. That's the very first one. <laughs> Is that? Okay, and now we're here with our possible luchador. I am yeah. getting the impression of a neck coming down, so I think that he's going to be um, extending the portrait. Here we have very careful work from uh, from Nathan. Uh, he's holding his brush in a very interesting way. It almost looked like he was working with charcoal there. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And here we are with Juju. Um, and these faces uh, kind of crawling up these buildings is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. Some of them look like, I don't know if they're supposed to be uh, angels or insects or what they're, what they are. And we're seeing um, Saab just refining her figure here. Um, some really beautiful, um, curvaceous lines here. Yeah. Yeah, very curvy. Oh, look at Michelle's piece. It is somebody falling. Very cool. It is somebody falling through the air with an, what looks like an umbrella open. Very cool. I'm excited to, for us to um, wheel around and come back to that. With, uh, with only five minutes remaining, we're really in uh, the refinement stage here. And we can see uh, Gino drying his piece i wonder if that is to prevent any dripping or if he needs it to dry to add more yeah or if it's I, just a bit of showmanship interesting i like i like to see that there he is he's rocking with the beat yeah so good <laughs> Just such a great attitude. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and it looks like Augie is starting to um, kind of carve into this heavy paint application that he's got going on. And it's interesting seeing the juxtaposition between Augie's super heavy application and Nathan's very sparing uh, drawing, basically. Yeah, it's the contrast is very interesting. Uh, we see so many different approaches at Art Battle. There's so many different ways to uh, to to do a piece of art in in 20 minutes, and uh, seeing them right next to each other. Way back when we uh, first uh, started working in this. Um, sort of format here we had a curtain between the artists so that they couldn't see each other because we thought maybe they would influence each other when they're painting but we soon learned that artists are in their own world and uh, are only focused on their own painting uh, so now we've got them all close together and uh, it doesn't really matter if they can see the work that's going on next to them a lot of color here in uh, juju's piece Quite, quite striking, actually. Yeah, lots of color, and I actually, um, I'm always wanting artists to fill in uh, the negative space left by any parts of blank canvas, but I think that Juju's actually lends a lot to it. Um, and Michelle, so I think that both of us were a little bit upset by the introduction of the figure, but I have to take it back now because this is really interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting. We have somebody falling or flying away with an umbrella we got these very very well executed birds disappearing into the sky yeah. uh just a, a really striking piece from michelle yeah just an absolutely gorgeous job there and two minutes remaining only for these artists. So for anyone out there in the internets, um, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote. 
um, and vote for your favorite of these amazing artists to... of Art Battle Los Angeles, third and final round, top four artists from rounds one and rounds two, here with a new canvas, 20 more minutes, to paint their hearts out in the hopes for the win. Uh, my name's Morgan Booth. I'm here with Chris Pemberton. Chris? Hi, hey, Morgan. Hello, everyone. Here we are setting up. We're watching the beginning of the third and final round. Ooh. It is a real treat to get to watch these best painters do a second piece. I mean, just watching them do one piece is very special, but to see them do a second piece is uh, it's just phenomenal. And we are very lucky to be a uh, witness to the process here. And you feel so attached uh, to the artists that make it through to the final round too, because you now feel familiar with their style. Hopefully they're the artists that you voted for. Yeah, for sure. You uh, really starting to get a sense of who they are. Perhaps you got an idea about their personality and definitely their, their views as an artist from, from what they've done. And again, we are seeing four very different artists with four different approaches uh to the final round here and from round number one fang and danny delgado have gone through and from round number two we have juju and michelle doe all right we are in for a real treat here and uh, congratulations to uh, juju that is two nights in a row that he's made it to the final he made it to the final last night in san francisco uh we were talking a little bit the last round, we were watching him about uh, him traveling around, doing his, his uh, tour of the different cities and that, and how wonderful that must be. So, so badass. Very special. Very, very badass and very special for him to be uh, here once again in the final round. Oh, and uh, I love seeing Michelle with her palette knife hanging out of her mouth, too. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's really great. Uh, we saw such beautiful colors from Michelle in the second round. And uh, and again here, she's giving us a real treat. Yeah, just checking out this like beautiful, beautiful, uh, like hazy gradient of sunset colors. Just gorgeous. Or I guess sunrise with the darker being at the top. That's right. And uh, we have Fang here working on the ground. Again, doing uh, sort of a, a portrait piece with an abstract background, and also, again, painting that portrait in landscape orientation of the canvas, which is uh, uh, unusual. Yes, I like uh, that choice of composition for her. I like the way that she, um, it's a portrait piece, but the portrait is very much um, part of a larger painting. Yeah, very much it is. So, and uh, we see Danny Delgado, who um, I missed this early portion of his work when he painted in the first round. I didn't see the way he started. I don't know if he did the same thing with um, sketching out his uh, sketching out his faces and then putting the background around the sketch before going into the middle but that is a very interesting way to paint yeah and uh even just the sketch that he had going um very early on was really beautiful like even just the the simple graphite 
sketch I was happy with, you know, in the first yeah. minute. So I can't wait to see where this piece heads. Well, he did such a beautiful job in the first round. Um, it's going to be a real treat to see him paint again here in the final round. And looks like Juju has got quite a lot done um, on his canvas as well. And I believe that we're getting a masked figure possibly from him as well. It could be, yeah. Oh, this, uh, this shot is iconic. Yeah. Just with uh, with Michelle against this beautiful, giant projected background and her palette li- knife uh, just sticking out of her out of her jaw. It's really fun. Yeah, definitely. That's uh, an image that really shows what Art Battle is all about. And once again, uh, the venue that we're here in L.A. is called the Wisdom. Uh, this is our first event at this venue uh, and our first event in L.A. Um, since the pandemic began. So we are thrilled to be back in action in the uh, one of the biggest art cities in the world, Los Angeles. And uh, we are here with... Um, Four. We we started with sixteen artists, and we're down to four now. So, we're seeing the best artists paint a second painting here, and it will be up to you and the audience in attendance to vote as to see who here tonight is going to be the winner, who will go through to the Los Angeles City Finals, which will be the next event. Ooh, so exciting! High stakes, man. Very high stakes. And we are just about, I think, 14 minutes remaining. So uh, really impressive the amount of work that everyone has gotten done in just six minutes. Like Michelle's got her whole canvas uh, colored. Very impressed with that. Again, um, in color tune with her hair, which I appreciate. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, we're going to see a surprise from Michelle. We were surprised in her first round when she had a beautiful sky and then uh, juxtaposed a black silhouette in front of it. So we're going to see another surprise from Michelle, I'm sure. Yeah, great technique, especially as a performance painter. Um, It really involves the audience when you throw them a bit of a surprise. That's right. Uh, this is going to be a really beautiful piece from Danny. Yeah, very, very uh, excited about this. Even just looking at his reference um, and the fact that this is kind of a double exposure in profile. Profiles are already really hard to do. Uh, That's right. Let alone doubling it. So, Yeah, a real challenge. Oh, you're right about uh, Juju's pants there. He is uh, fully decked out in his own art. I dig it. I dig it so much. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, we're so used to seeing, um, like, the paint-spattered pants, but Juju's pants are very, uh, like, clearly, cleanly illustrated with his work. Oh, is this a cityscape, maybe, from Michelle? It it could be. It could be sort of an unusual color for buildings, but uh, she's the artist. It's her choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of my favorite things about Art Battle um, being that there's no theme, that each artist can really play to their own strengths and uh, be true to their own artistic styles. Just in 20 minutes. Just in 20 minutes, yeah. <laughs> Distill your whole well, art practice into 20 minutes. It's it's great to give them the platform to um, show off their uh, skill to the world this way. So we are really proud to be associated with these artists. And uh, if you are out there and you're an artist and you're watching and you think that you might want to take a shot at it, just visit us at artbattle.com. There's a very easy link, artbattle.com slash artists. And you can apply to paint in any one of our cities. And it's such a thrill doing it, too. It is a a real thrill, for sure. 
there's nothing quite compares to it and uh one thing that is very consistent is our artists who paint with us are very eager to paint again we get a lot of artists applying again the day after a competition because they just want more and that's very apt to say as we're looking at juju's uh work and the fact that he was painting with us in san francisco last night and again made it to the final round yeah our certified yeah. art battle addict i think that's right i wonder if he's painted in any other cities we uh try and keep good track here but i don't have the notes i don't have his profile up in front of me right now um, based in Chicago. So I know he's done at least Chicago, uh, San Francisco, and now LA. So that's quite wow. the uh, l litany under his belt. Yeah, that's quite the thing. And he is trying to make it to qualify for a uh, finals event so that he can uh, try and compete for the national championship, which is happening uh, on April 2nd this year, our first national championship in a couple of years, we were uh, shut out because of the pandemic, but uh, we're going to be in Wichita Falls, Texas on April 2nd to see the best painters from across the country competing for the 2022 national championship. Oh man, that's going to be an epic, epic show. And uh, I think Danny's really gunning for it, you know? This piece is absolutely incredible. Um, very, very refined. Uh, I'm absolutely loving how there are so many elements of vibrancy here, but they're balanced by more subtle tones of, like, creams yeah. and yellows. Just beautiful. And we're just about nine minutes remaining. So if you are out there in the internets, uh, head on over to artbattle.com slash vote and vote for who will be the winner of this Art Battle Los Angeles event tonight. Who's going to make it on to the finals for LA? It's going to be one of these four painters. And uh, we already have a really stacked lineup for the Art Battle Los Angeles finals. We have winners from the past uh, two, almost three years because of the shutdown of the pandemic. So we have a lot of extremely talented artists going to be here at Wisdom LA in March for the city finals. And one of these artists will get there with their skill and courage tonight. And oh. Just as we're pulling away, I think that we're starting to get Michelle's surprise element. So we'll have to wait until the next revolution around the easels to find out what our surprise is. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is really, have... this is cool the way the space is emerging mm -hmm. from uh, Fang. Yeah. Fang's, uh, Fang's first piece uh, is uh, seeing a lot of action in the auction, actually. It's up to $485 for Fang's first round piece. Excellent. I love seeing that. So not only uh, can you support these artists with your votes, but if you're also falling in love with these pieces, just like I'm falling in love with this uh, Delgado piece right here, I'm going to tell you, uh, you can also bid on these works in silent auction at artbattle.com slash vote. That's right. You can vote, you can bid. It's almost like you're there with this, with our careful camera work. We are up close and in, in front of the easel. Oh, look at this piece. Huh? This piece has evolved since we were around here last time. Juju has added some uh, hair that looks very much like his own hair. I wonder if this is a uh, self a stylized self portrait. Yeah, super cool, and also very, uh, very much more humanoid than we're used to seeing from him. Usually, his characters are um, more creature, kind of humanoid creature. This is definitely a human. Uh, oh man, that smile is cool. 
that he just put on there. Very, very cool. Great evolution there. Juju knows what he's doing. And here we are. Here we are with uh, Michelle, and we see, again, she's got the element of uh, a silhouette of a person falling through the sky, or in this case, maybe f raising up through the sky uh, in front of a last one was on an ocean, and this one is in front, definitely in front of a city. Really wonderful way... Uh, that she's established the streets here with this red. Really cool. Yeah. That uh, super hot, hot orangey red against that gorgeous um, ultramarine blue. A great combination. And we've got Fang in here with the fan brush, a personal favorite of mine. Um, she's adding her final touches, but I also think that we saw her using that for the hair. You can see um, that with the fan brush, it lends these really great kind of striations in each stroke. That yeah. can be great for, uh, for hair. Yeah, I wonder how many brushes it's interesting. Some painters use one brush to have a favorite brush and they use the one brush the whole time. Other painters use an absolute army of brushes. So <laughs> This I know very well. Um, having yeah. come up in the ranks of Art Battle as a, a lowly brush washer many, many years ago. Yeah, for sure. You've seen your <laughs> share. You've seen your share of brushes. Some artists use like just, you know, 10, 15 brushes. Some artists use just one, so. And we can see uh, Juju here is, he's working with his brush, but I also saw him in there um, just putting in little touches with his finger as well. And I think that's how he did the teeth um, in this portrait too. With his finger? Yeah. Once we get a little bit closer with Michelle, we'll see uh, she's just done an absolutely beautiful execution on the clouds. Bob Ross would be very proud. He'd be very proud. Happy little clouds. <laughs> and just about three minutes remaining. Just about three minutes. Let's get up close here with Danny Delgado's piece. Just stunned just, by this. Just a absolute beautiful execution. Yeah, that beautiful is execution. a gem. So much talent. I was just in love with his first round piece. Uh, definitely got my vote there. I was just in love with his first round piece. And he has really come through here in the final round with another stunner. He is able to perfectly capture his transfer the ideas from his reference material to the canvas in just 20 minutes uh just so talented so so much talent absolutely such a great point um about transferring from the reference because a lot of the time we see um artists using references in different ways like very much how we saw um i think it was nathan using his reference and it went in a completely different direction and then we have um danny here and he's staying very very close to the reference so one thing i love about art battle is just seeing the different techniques the different approaches yeah yeah for sure we see so many different techniques and approaches uh just like just like art can be pretty much anything artists have are completely free to do it any which way they want to on the canvas and uh, we see so much variation uh, it is such a tree no matter how many art battles we see we see new approaches new techniques it's just it's a wonderful world of uh, creation 
just in awe. And we're seeing this, I think, almost the same floating figure um, being followed by, I believe, butterflies this time. So whimsical. And we're getting this uh, this final spray of city lights um, th through the flicking of yellow paint by Michelle onto her piece. When did she add those birds in there? I didn't even see that. Okay, and... Yeah. Oh, the oh, last few seconds. Down. You can see the, like, the restraint. The hand doesn't want to pull away from the canvas. Yeah, no, it's such a intense, heavy couple of seconds those last couple when you're trying to get your last little highlight on there and also the mental factor of maybe doubting yourself if you're doing the right thing with your last seconds or not yeah gorgeous piece there from danny yeah, really, beautiful piece from juju really impressed with this round yeah just four stunning pieces. This piece from Juju is really something else. Yeah, that uh, that smile at the end, I think, was uh, one of my favorite elements of watching this piece being created. Okay, and looks like our team um, is just taking a little break to begin counting your votes. So now is the time to get your votes in. Head on over to artbattle.com slash vote uh, and help us pick our champion for tonight's event in Los Angeles. That's right. It's a tough job to do the painting and it's a tough job for you guys to uh, pick which one is your favorite. I know I am definitely split this round. So take, take a good... Uh, couple moments to think about it and cast your vote and we will see who gets the most votes here and goes through to the city final. To the third and final round and we'll be the right back from the first round where they will compete again um with a blank canvas and another 20 minutes and the winner of the evening will be championed fantastic yeah get your votes in here your votes count we want to make sure that um we count every single one of you when we are trying to figure out who's done the best job here. So the audience at the event has got a vote. You have a vote online uh, and also equal opportunity to, to participate in the auction and take home one of these beautiful pieces. Yeah, incredible to be able to basically be anywhere. that you've ever seen. Okay, and welcome back to Art Battle Los Angeles. We are here for the second round of live competitive painting. These artists will have just 20 minutes to go from blank canvas to incredible finished piece for your votes tonight. We have eight artists up at the easel. My name is Morgan Booth. I'm here co-hosting with Art Battle co-founder Chris Pemberton. Hi, Chris. Hi, Morgan. Hi, everyone. And these Good artists sir. look like they're having a great time. Just getting yeah, ready. Yeah, they certainly do. Everybody's standing at attention at their easel. I can't wait. This is going to be super. Our first round was just spectacular. Eight really different paintings and uh, really great, highly talented work. We have our MC introducing our painters for our second round, and we are sure to see some heavy hitters in this round. Yeah, the quality of the work so far tonight has been absolutely beyond. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Okay, and I believe that they are doing the countdown now. Uh, 
Okay, artists getting ready. What an incredible atmosphere tonight. Yeah, this place is just an absolute art stadium. Wisdom LA, super top-notch venue. We are very happy to be hosting our Battle Los Angeles here tonight. Yeah, just absolutely incredible. Angle what he is doing 